Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson on claw hammer banjo, we're going to be talking about double C tuning and learning to play the scale in two octaves. Now, what some of you are hearing right now is blah, 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 because we're talking music terms. And by the way, I get that because that's what I hear. So what I'm teaching you to do, though, is actually going to help you. It's going to help you actually pick out tunes and understand a little bit about your neck because a lot of the songs you play, you could be playing actually in two octaves instead of just where you might normally play it. So I'm going to teach you the scale in the lower octave first and then uh, give you a couple options with that and then we'll move on from there. So I hope you enjoy this lesson and I do hope it helps. Uh, it's not, not going to be a long one, I don't believe, but it will be thorough and it's something that you can really practice. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit your fourth string open. That's the lowest note, obviously, on your banjo in double C tuning. Then you're going to use your pointer finger. Now, technically, you should use your ring finger because usually when you skip a fret, you skip a finger. And then your pinky on five. Oh, two, four, five. That is not how I play it. By the way, I have found out that most f guitar players who also play banjo use their pinky a lot, which is, I am sure, the better preferred way. I do not do that. I play it open, two with my pointer, four with my middle, and then my ring on five. O, two. So you can do it however you want. The important thing is you want to be playing O, two, four, five. O, two, four, five. And just get your hand to learn to do that. And then after you do that, play it backwards. your scale there if you have that memorized it's real easy because on your third string it's the same exact thing so you want to get your hands used to playing that and then you're going to play it backwards and I'm sitting here going meow 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 it's a commercial. Now let's put those together. That's your full scale in the lower octave. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And what you want to do is play that forward and backwards. When you Isolate all those notes all over your neck just to those two strings and this little space It's easier to start trying to figure out tunes and I recommend people start with tunes not like Soldier's Joy and Cumberland Gap and Cripple Creek But with little kids songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Three Blind Mice, etc. And the reason for that is those are songs that you know All the notes you know them in your head you've known them your entire life But just for an example that's the fourth string, third string. So one thing you can do is start picking out tunes like that. I'm not going to even show you the rest because I'd like you to figure it out. And it uh, really should not be that difficult. Just sing the note and then match your voice to it. For example, if I went twinkle, twink, that's obviously wrong. It's got to be a higher note because my voice is going higher. So that's a, that's a freebie. <laughs> it's all freebies. Uh, but I wanted to throw that in. So we ended on the third string, fifth fret. If you play the second string open, that's the same note. So now when we play up our scale, instead of going to five on the third string, we're just going to go to the second string open. 
and then go backwards. And you definitely want to learn the scale both ways. End it once on the third string, fifth fret, and then end it on the second string open. Second string open. Now that actually becomes the first note in the second octave. So you have do, you have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And I can't sing that high. So you're gonna hit second string open, second string fourth fret, then using my ring finger, second string fourth fret. And then I'm gonna drop my middle finger on the first string, third fret. And you wanna to learn to play that, so. Then you're gonna go up to five, up to seven, up to nine, and then up to 10. And that is your second octave. And then you wanna play it backwards. And you want to get very, very familiar doing that. So, by the way, Joy to the World is simply your scale played backwards. So, let's, let's just go to these first two strings with the lower octave. And we're stopping here. You're going to go... If you start up here, so one more thing you can do, just to make it more interesting, instead of just playing your scale, once you once you get it memorized, don't do it till you get it memorized, then then start doing bum ditties with it. hesitations So not a long lesson at all, but I do think it's very, very important. It'll help you in the understanding of your instrument. It'll help you play songs in both octaves and just kind of opens up your fretboard and your fingerboard a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, work on it, practice on it, and uh, we'll get back into some double C tuning songs. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share, please like, and if you would be so very kind to leave a comment below. Help me get the word out. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.